just looked like his stuff was up and it was flat. Um, he seemed to find it after that, um, but they jumped all over him and um, he was he was up. You look at that ball that Ortiz hit in that inning. It looked like Beltran played the, the carom off the wall. Did you think at first that he had a chance at that ball? Uh, at first, I thought it was a home run. I did. Um, and it hit off the top of the wall. Um, Carlos did everything he could to catch it, and we didn't make the play. I know the team scored some in the bottom of the inning, but how daunting a task is that when you're down 6 nothing after an inning? Well, we've come back before. I mean, we got it to 6-4, to four, so it was definitely manageable. Um, you know, it seemed that Porcello started making good pitches again like Michael was um, after that. You know, you get 10 runs scored in the first inning combined, and then both guys kind of settled in, and we never did much after that. We had a few opportunities, but we didn't do much. How do you explain an outing like this out of Pineda? He really did settle in and, and then didn't seem to have too much. You know, sometimes, you know, when you leave the bullpen, you you feel one way and you get out there and it takes you a while to find your stuff. Um, but you got to find a way when, when you're going through that to get outs. And, you know, we kind of gave him the extra out at the play at the plate. Um, and that led, you know, to, to a tougher inning for him. Dave. So uh, last night you said, you guys got to take care of business, and that that hasn't happened. Correct. Are you? Are you I don't know. Is that, are you alarmed at <laughs> no? The I, way I mean, we've lost a couple games in a row. Uh, you know, everyone was feeling pretty giddy over the weekend when we won three out of four, and then you lose a couple in a row, and that's the emotional roller coaster that, as a manager and players, you have to guard against um, because you're going to go through streaks like that. So, you got to come out and win a ball game tomorrow. Barry, Greg. Neda have one more start. Uh, will he pitch Sunday? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm and not worried about Sunday. And how do you uh, assess the season he's had with the ups and downs and the injury? It's, it's, and well, it, it's all part of it. I mean, he's had some really good starts for us, and, and his, at times has pitched really, really well uh, for us. And I look at the whole body of work. Tonight was not one of those nights. Uh, after the first inning, he was pretty good. Um, but – I mean, that's that's for the off season to really think about everything. Another Pineda question after the first inning. I mean, is it impressive that he battled the way he did and was able to pull it together? Yeah, well, the fact that he gave us a chance to come back after we got four, I, I think he went um, four more scoreless innings and uh, we had a chance. Um, but like I said, we didn't do much after that. Andrew. How do you think your team looks physically in terms of their you know, fatigue? Their... Probably like every team in baseball. <laughs> Who else? Roger. Joe, in terms of what tomorrow's game could mean, because it could mean a great deal, uh, your thoughts about having Tanaka going in that yeah. game? Yeah, well, it's good to get him back. Uh, you know, he's missed a couple starts for us, and um, it's not what you want at the end of the year, but, I mean, we've had to deal with it, so it's really good to get him back.